Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about using this flame weeder because it's a lot of fun. lid already they come with little magnesium strikers I've loaned this out to other people and lost the striker in the process so I just use a long match I would recommend wearing welding gloves this particular one is a mag torch MT 5500 it's got a little gas control here so you can shut it off turn the gas up and down on the tool itself um, and then you can obviously shut it off or open it up at the propane tank regulator. You got your little trigger here. Um, it eats through propane pretty fast. So I've got it hooked up to a regular grill tank. Um, they do make a little backpack, like somewhat smaller than a grill tank. You could, I guess you could fabricate, depending on how rugged you are, you could fabricate a backpack to carry around the grill tank size ones. Some of them run off with the little benzomatic cans. Uh, it does throw a lot of heat, and especially like it just rained last night, so that's why I'm doing it today. But you can see like here's a leaf. It'll blow that over, and if the leaves are dry, um, it'll light them on fire. And if it's really cranked all the way up, just shut that off. It's gonna, if it's really cranked all the way up and you hit dry leaves, stuff like that, it's actually gonna act almost like a leaf blower. I mean, it's not gonna throw it quite that far, but you can throw flaming material. So just be careful of that. Um, I don't know, you can find these online for anywhere from like 25 to $50, depending on the model. Um, and like I said, like there's different, some of them are made to hook up to the smaller ca gas cans. Um, that's about it guys. It's good for applications like this, where you got grass coming up on gravel. You can weed in between rows in a garden. Um, or if you've got like hardscaping, like bricks or pavers, and you got grass coming up through the cracks, um, yeah, you can try to chisel that stuff out and put new sand in there. Um, but if it's a nice, hot, dry week in the summertime, if you hit the grass, it's gonna, um, it's gonna knock it back pretty good. The other thing is, I'll show you what the plants look like. It's not quite as dramatic as you think. Like, there was a lot of smoke coming up, but this stuff hasn't been burnt black for the most part. You just kind of see the plants shrivel up. Uh, they'll kind of almost turn, it almost looks like they're melting. Like they'll just turn a little bit yellow. Almost look like waxy, I guess is how I would put it. And that just means you've damaged all the cells. They're folding up. And then uh, the reason you want to do it, preferably where you got some dry weather coming, it'll just dehydrate the plants a lot quicker. Um, and I find that doing it this way is a little bit rougher on the underlying roots and everything, I think it just damages the plant more, tries to fix the damage, as opposed to if you mow it or string trim it, like it, I don't think it's quite as stressful to the plants. I think it's actually more stressful to burn them part way and, and they slowly die. Obviously they will still come back. This isn't gonna kill everything permanently, um, but it's fun, it's got practical uses, so. If you haven't used one before or seen one used before, now you know. Thanks, guys.